Hi, my name is Akanksha Upadhyay and I am your English instructor. In today's class, we will be solving the exercise portion of Unit 12, which is expressing inability. Let us begin. Let's begin our class by reading the text about importance of good habit in one's own life and then find reasons behind them. So let's begin. Why can't all the students show excellent performance? Is it because student life is not free from problems? Different phases of life create troubles and sufferings. There are many ways out of such problems. However, if you follow a few simple steps, you can be what you like to be. You should develop good habits so that you can bring out positive changes in yourself. Student life is full of sufferings. Sometimes they suffer because of improper ways of eating or sleeping. At times, they lack exercise. Their improper way of dressing and unpunctuality in activities are other reasons. Besides physical suffering, social activities like impolite speech, ill temper, irresponsibility towards a given assignment and bad behavior are some examples of social sufferings. Not only that, some economical reasons also play a vital role in students' performance. Similarly, some of them are lazy, whereas others are simply disinterested in the class. Such defilling suffering is like illness which needs purification. Because of such problems, they show poor performance in their academic and extracurricular activities. There are many ways to eradicate sufferings. Universal ethics like cleanliness, politeness, punctuality, and orderliness are four combatants against them. Dirtiness is one of the main reasons. Many academics, health hazards, fatal diseases, and irrationals are the result of impolite and improper way of human activities. For example, the number of patients in hospital is increasing day by day. Because of dirtiness, the expenditure is also increasing in medication. Impoliteness in speech, behavior, dressing, and managing things are other reasons of pain. Most of the conflicts and fights are their results. Similarly, unpunctuality obstructs the ability to complete tasks on time. As a result, you may make unnecessary excuses. For instance, if you do not wake up early and reach school late, you may tell a lie or make a lame excuse for your late arrival. Lastly, in order to live a happy life, one must know how to organize oneself and one's belongings. It is because of the habit of organization that helps to be punctual, hygienic, polite, and clean. All the four good habits make you free from possible sufferings. Therefore, they are referred as the combatants. Where to practice such good habits? All the good habits can be practiced in your rooms. It is because you spend most of your time in these four rooms. The rooms are bedrooms, your living room, your classroom, and the toilet. Now here is the list of daily habits that can change our grumpy faces into smiley ones. So if we get up early in the morning, if we make our bed ourselves, let's keep aside a thing that is not necessary for us but may be useful to others. Let us dress politely for all occasions like at home, for school, for party or anywhere. Arrange the belongings and appliances that you use. Speak politely, show good manners, treat others the way you would like to be treated by them. Respect your elders and love your juniors. Complete your given assignments on time. Find and adopt the good qualities of the ones who are around you. And practice self-discipline like never waste food, never tell a lie, never fight, never take intoxicants, etc. Clean your body and your living place. Be punctual. Do enough exercise, both mental and physical, reflect on your day, and sleep on time. If we follow these habits for at least a month, it will change our behavior and make us successful, happy, healthy human. There's no doubt that practice makes a man perfect, so furthermore, things will be good according to our good behavior. Now, let's try to enrich our vocabulary. For this, we need to find the words from the text we just read and then show good qualities and bad qualities and fill up the table. Now, first of all, let us list all the good qualities. So the first one is already given, that is cleanliness. So in the second paragraph, we have list of good qualities, that is politeness, 
This is an universal ethic. And we have punctuality. And then we have orderliness. We have the word active. So to be active is a good habit. We also have happy. So being happy is again a very good quality that one must have. So being polite to everyone and being punctual, that is being on time everywhere, being on a good order, being active and happy, these all are the good qualities. Now let's go and find words for bad qualities. So in the paragraph where the writer has full evidence about how full of suffering a student life is, there we can find some bad qualities there. So they are being impolite, unpunctual, being lazy. Laziness is another bad quality. And short-tempered or ill-tempered, as mentioned in the paragraph. And being irritated, the irritation. Now these are the bad qualities which we shouldn't have. And the major one is dirtiness. We've listed some few words from the text showing good qualities and few showing bad qualities. Now, we move towards reading the key words from the sentences that will be given. And then, we'll choose the best meaning for the underlined words. So, it's basically read and find the meaning. Different phases of life create troubles and suffering. Now, we need to find a word that's similar to the meaning of phases. Now, the best word for faces can be aspects because different aspects of life creates troubles and suffering. So, being a student is one of the aspects of your life. Being a student is not one of your problems of the life or being a part of the society is not a problem in your life too. So, being a student is one of the roles that you're playing in your life. That's one of the aspects. So, the best word, the best meaning is aspects. The second sentence is, some of them are lazy, easily distracted, and envious too. So now here we are talking about the bad quality of some of the people. And the choice, the options for the answer are smart, jealous, polite. Now, because we are talking about the bad behavior or the bad quality of some of the people, the option cannot be smart because we cannot say some of them are lazy, easily distracted and smart too. Because of the word too here, we know that envious is something bad. So smart is a good quality. So we ignore smart. Jealous. Jealous could be our answer. And polite cannot be our answer because polite is a good quality too. Now, Jealous is a bad quality. So envious, the synonym for envious is jealousy. So jealous is the correct option. There are many ways to eradicate sufferings. And the options are renew, remove or restart. So we would always want sufferings to go away of our life and we would never want to renew our sufferings or restart our sufferings. So the word eradicate means to remove because, of course, we want to remove the sufferings of our life. Arrange the belongings and appliances that you use. So the word appliances is stationaries and something else too. It cannot be only the stationary. Appliances is not analysis. We can say appliances is an equipment because equipment includes everything. So the word appliances means equipments. And finally, for this portion, we have our last question remaining. Reflect your day and sleep on time. So what does the word reflect mean? A mirror or B correct or C to forget. So to reflect means to mirror an image. Like to reflect anything means to see through them, to mirror that same thing. So you need to see what happened in your day and then sleep on time. You cannot correct what happened in your day because that's already past. And you should never forget what happened today because today is always a lesson for tomorrow. So to reflect your day means to mirror your day. This is all for this portion. Now we will 
state whether some of the habits are good or bad. So here is the list of sentences and we need to figure it out if these activities are good or bad. So let's begin. Asking parents to make your bed and arrange your dress. So this is being dependent and this is a bad habit because you need to make your bed yourself and you need to arrange your dress yourself. So this is a bad habit. Cleaning belongings and appliances after use. This is a good habit because we need to do our work and after using some equipments to do our work, we need to clean it. The third question or the third habit is dressing up according to our mood. In our text, we have a clear mention that we need to dress up politely wherever we are, whether we be at home, at school, at party, anywhere, for all occasions. So dressing up according to our mood is a bad habit. Eating how much we feel and wasting the rest. This is a very bad habit because we must take only that amount of food we will to eat or we can eat. We cannot waste food after starting to have it. So this is a bad habit. Showing sympathy and empathy to others. This is a good habit. And finally, making excuses for our faults. This is a bad habit because we know making excuses or lying is a bad habit. Now we will answer the questions that's given. What are the four major problems of students? So the answer is in the second paragraph which reads, at times, students lack exercise. Their improper way of dressing and unpunctuality in activities are other reasons for the suffering. Besides physical suffering, social activities like impolite speech, ill temper, irresponsibility towards a given assignment and bad behavior are some examples of social sufferings. Not only that, some economical reasons also play a vital role in students' performance. Similarly, some of them are lazy, easily distracted, and maybe envious of others too. Some love socializing, whereas others are simply disinterested in the class. So now, let's write the answer. The four major problems of students are improper ways of sleeping and eating. So the answer to the question is, the four major problems of students are improper way of sleeping and eating, improper way of dressing and unpunctuality, being lazy, disinterested and envious, and social and economic sufferings. Now we need to list the solution to the problems of students, or we need to solve the problems that we have listed before. The question is, how can these problems be solved? List four ways. Now, the answer is given straightforward in the third paragraph, which reads, there are many ways to eradicate sufferings. Universal ethic like cleanliness, politeness, punctuality, and orderliness are four combatants against them. Dirtiness is one of the main reasons. So the four ways through which we can solve the problems are cleanliness, politeness, punctuality, and orderliness. Write any three techniques you can apply to be happy, successful, and healthy. In order to be happy, successful, and healthy, we must know how to organize ourselves and our belongings. The second technique is by being punctual, hygienic, polite, and clean. So let's write it down. So the techniques to be happy, successful, and healthy are knowing how to organize ourselves and our belongings, being polite and punctual, giving priority to cleanliness and good hygiene. This is all for today's class. I have three homework questions for you. The first question is to write your daily habits. You can make it a point answer. You can list your habits in the answer. You can say, I get up early in the morning, then I bake my bed, I pack my bag, or I brush my teeth, or anything that you do in bullets. The second question is, why is it so important to have good habits? So why do you think is it so important to have good habit? Is it because you think having good habit makes you a better person or is it more hygienic and more satisfiable life with good habits or what do you think you can make it a short answer but write your opinion on the importance of good habit 
And the final question is, how do you think your life would be different with no problems in your life? So do you think with no problems, you would be more happy, more satisfied, or you think that problems are making you strong and they're teaching you something in life. So you would want problems in your life. So these are some of the opinion questions that I want you to solve. And in between, if you have any problems, any suggestions or anything that you wish to share with us, please feel free to write to us at learning at dearwalk.edu.np. Thanks for watching.